Just gonna go with uh, Veronica Young Nuts. My name is Veronica Murtitius. I am a Mohawk woman and a member of the Six Nations of the Grand River. I am the sister of a recovering drug user, my beloved brother. And I'm also staff counsel at the BC Civil Liberties Association. I'm here today to stand alongside all of you in opposition of this cruel and recycled proposal that drug users be subject to involuntary detention and treatment. We've said it before and I'll say it again. David, David Eby is showing us that he is not a champion of the people, but rather a man that bends to those who wish to maintain their power and paternalistic worldview. And I'm wearing my orange shirt today to remind David Eby and everyone else who supports this asinine and illegal, unconstitutional proposal that forcing vulnerable people into something, whether it be residential schools or involuntary treatment, is wrong. And this sick attempt to garner votes is misleading, immoral, and reckless. We already know because of the shameful way the Mental Health Act functions that those who are made subject to involuntary treatment are often handled with excessive force by police or security personnel, do not have access to effective and timely legal support, are forcibly injected with antipsychotic drugs, and can end up being detained under the act indefinitely. David Eby is a lawyer and knows that such a law would violate charter rights, including the right not to be deprived of life, liberty, or security of the person, and the right not to be subject to cruel and unusual treatment. The right to decide what is done to one's own body and the ability to access different and trauma-informed care and treatment options, including culturally specific models, for example, land-based healing, and wraparound care is essential. Forced treatment of people who use drugs cannot be demonstrably justified in a free and democratic society. Health experts know that the evidence does not support EB's dangerous musings. All evidence is clear that involuntary drug treatment is an ineffective model and can cause great harm, even death, and does not save lives. Minister EB or I should say Premier Eby, said involuntary care is needed to give people who use drugs a chance to survive. He is wrong and he knows it. What is needed is an end to the criminalization of drugs, a safe supply, and culturally safe, accessible, and voluntary treatment services for all. Finally, David Eby, you know you're the oppressor when you force something on people that you know damn well you would resist if you were in the same position. Nyawa, thank you.